Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Ticking Together. As always, the goal of this channel is to provide education about and to raise awareness as to what it's like living with Tourette syndrome. I know it's been a while since I posted on my channel something Tourette's related, but the reason is my tics have been really good for the most part and I'm pretty much like able to get through my days with minimal tics, which has been a blessing and it's been so amazing. I think this is probably because of the fact that I'm medicated on guanfacine and pimazide. Those medications together, the concoction of them have been absolutely amazing for my tics. And I think the other reason is the environmental factors of my life have kind of changed. I moved in with my boyfriend Colton. I've been living with him for about a month. I'm in school again. I'm progressing my life in ways that I never thought imaginable. And it has really, really impacted my tics positively. From watching me on this video right now to watching my videos in the past on this channel, you will likely see a huge difference in my tics. And I am so grateful that I'm able to like live authentically without having the debilitating tics that I've had. However, I know not everyone with Tourette's is as lucky as this. And I know my tics will likely come back and wax. Right now they're waning, but tics come and go, they wax and wane. Right now I'm in a very steady, mild waning period, but that doesn't mean my tics won't come back and wax again. However, I feel very, very lucky. Like a race. Mm, I still have some tics. I feel very lucky that my tics are very mild right now and I can function as like a normal human. It's pretty, pretty fun. But the reason for this video is I saw something in my personal life which was like baffling to me and I wanted to share it with you guys too. I was on my Facebook page last night scrolling through my memories. So if you guys have Facebook, you'll know that every so often they'll prompt you with a memory and it's something you yourself have posted years ago on that same date. So for example, my memory was 13 years ago today and it was a video of me and my cousin singing. So doing the math, 13 years ago, I would have been 13 as I am now 26. And 13 was around the time when my tics started to really skyrocket. Anyways, I watched this video and just the beginning snippet of when I'm talking and saying, hi, I'm Carly, this is what we're doing today. I was ticking and seeing young me ticking is not something I'm used to seeing because most of the time as a kid, I would suppress as much as I could. I wouldn't let myself be seen with tics on social media. So the fact that I posted this video 13 years ago with me having tics, I, they weren't super intense tics, it was just facial tics and a few vocal tics. But just the fact that I saw this, I was like, kind of a weird introspective moment where I was like, I've had tics a long time. I wanted to insert a bit of the video here and show you guys a little bit of it. It's literally like 10 seconds or less. It's not a long video, but you can see, watch for my nose scrunching, my heart swallowing. I make a sound. I used to make that sound all the time after I smiled, um, blinking, lots of, watch my face. You'll see what I mean. They are very subtle, but this was the start of my skyrocket of ticks. Here it is. <laughs> Here we go. It was really, really weird seeing this video when I wasn't expecting it, to see me ticking and being like a young girl with these facial tics because even though I, I know deep down that I have Tourette's and yes, like I'm diagnosed, I'm on medication, yada, yada, yada. There's still this part of me that listens to the haters and is like, you've never had Tourette's, you're such a liar, which I know is like imposter syndrome central. But I mean, showing this video to you guys, like I have had tics my whole life. Like this was 13 years ago. I look so little and it's just crazy mm, to see the progression of my tics, how when they first started, they were very minimal. They were facial. They were the odd vocal tick here and there. Then as I grew up and got into my later teens, they were full on tick attack, body movements, punching myself, hitting myself, yelling things. Like it got so 
bad and now it's kind of leveled out again which is so weird like i've had like boo if that makes sense like a peak and then it slowly started to kind of go down again which i think is the ultimate waxing and waning of my ticks i'm really really grateful though that now they're so mild i think as an adult sometimes in cases with tourette's as an adult your ticks will lessen and i know my doctors have told me that but i think too because of the medication i'm on and because of the external circumstances of my environment being super happy, less stressed, you know, the positives in my environment have really attributed to me having less ticks as well as the medication. But yeah, I just wanted to share this video with you guys because I thought it was very kind of interesting to see how my ticks kind of first started. I know I have had ticks as young as like 10, but from 10 to 13, they were pretty consistent with just minor facial, the odd vocal. Then as I said, they got way worse and slowly kind of dwindled, but it's just crazy the cycle of ticks and watching it like in real time and seeing my life cycle. If you guys go back on my channel, even like two years ago to some videos, my ticks were like severe and that was before my medication changed. And now that I'm kind of settled on Pimazide and Guanfacine, I feel really good and I'm grateful. So yeah, that is all I wanted to share with you guys. Just this little kind of introspective video of my ticks as a kid versus now. You can kind of see, I still have ticks in this video, obviously, like this is pretty much my standard, my normal, um, but I can get through the day without a lot of ticks, which is lovely. In the past, I've had lots of ticks, but it really has waxed and waned. And I think that's like the key point of this video is ticks will change over time. If you have Tourette's, Never expect ticks to be the same day to day to day. It will always change. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, we are learning together, we're laughing together, and we're ticking together. I will see you guys next time. Bye!